Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. If you watch my YouTube videos and watch my stories, you may know that I have actually already filmed this video and I did put it live last week when it was meant to go out, but unfortunately, Something very strange has happened and all the files corrupted. So anyway, I'm filming it again. And this is actually a good thing because since I filmed it, I've actually thought of so many more things that I can share. So this is gonna be bigger and better. So this video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be my best purchases of the year from 2022. A real mix of things. I've got a couple of fashion bits. I've got homeware beauty, hair products, accessories, random miscellaneous things, just a real in-depth, real life look at some of the best things that I've bought this year. So let's jump straight into it. I'm gonna start off with beauty because I've got quite a few bits to show you. So starting with some body products. So two of my literal favorite products ever that I will continue to buy again and again. Firstly is the Necessaire Body Serum. This is absolutely incredible. I love this so much and if you are somebody that likes to keep your body hydrated, I like to treat my body how I would my skin. I like to keep it hydrated and exfoliated but maybe you don't like like me, you don't like rubbing in thick creams that take so long to rub in and they leave that kind of white cast on your skin, especially this time of year when it's really cold um, and you don't wanna be standing in the bathroom moisturizing every day. This is brilliant. It sinks into your skin so quickly. It has hyaluronic acid in it, so it's really hydrating on the skin. The formula is almost like a gel, so it comes out as like a clear gel and then when you rub it into the skin it is just so hydrating it leaves your skin really glowy really nourished and i just love it it actually doesn't have a fragrance which i really like as well although i do quite like a body cream with a nice fragrance for in the mornings when i'm going out or something at night i really like to just use a serum that's good for my skin that's fragrance free and just simple so this is incredible next up on the same lines of body i really wanted to discuss this tan because tan Lux is my favorite tan brand and i've literally just done my first layer of tan for the year um, very sad to say goodbye to my summer tan but this is so good and if you're ever wondering what tan i use it's always tan Lux. It's the only brand that I found that really works for me, looks natural, is buildable, and the product line that they have is just so diverse, you can literally get something for anyone. This is the tan that I've been using for the last year, from last winter to this winter. This is the Tan Lux Hydra Mousse, and I have this in the shade Light Medium. So it's a really buildable color, it's not going in super dark, It's you can build this with layers. I went out at the weekend and I actually built, I think about three or four layers of this. Um, and it created a really nice, rich, natural tan. So this is a clear mousse and it applies so seamlessly. It smells so lovely as well. But my hack is I don't like tanning mitts. I don't know why, I find them really dirty and I just, I can't, because of the shape of them, I feel like I can't ever get into like the crevices of my elbows and like everywhere properly. So I actually use a sock, I use a black, trainer sock and it's perfect because it really allows you because it's quite thin you can really get into all the areas it's cotton so it's really nice it buffs into your skin really well and it's reusable so i chuck it into the washing machine every time i do my tan it comes out nice and clean and it's all perfect so i cannot recommend tan lux enough couldn't not talk about some hair products i get so many questions on my hair and these two products I have really been loving this year. I think over the last few years I've used the same shampoos and conditioners. It's always Aribe or Olaplex. And this Olaplex product I have tried this year and I love it. This is my second bottle now. It's the Olaplex Number no. 4C Clarifying Shampoo. And I use this probably once a week. I wash my hair two, three times a week. So on one of my washes, I do a really good deep clean. And this is unbelievable. I love it. If you're somebody that likes to use a lot of oils or you use a lot of hair masks, even dry shampoo, I dry shampoo my hair a lot and this just gets rid of all the buildup and it literally leaves your hair feeling so clean and silky. It doesn't make it feel limp or coated. I just really love it and I've been recommending this to everyone because I just think it's incredible. Another thing I've started doing this year is oiling my hair, probably like once or twice a week. When my hair needs washing the next day, 
I will lather my ends of my hair, probably like here down in oil, and then I will plait it in a French plait and leave it for the evening, go to sleep, wake up, and then wash my hair. The oil that I've been loving is the Oribe Gold Lust hair oil. A little goes a long way. I've had this for a good few months now, and I literally, I mean, I can't even see where it's up to, but I have so much left. You honestly need like one pump. It just lasts forever. It leaves my hair so silky. I actually did this last night and I just love it. I think it's incredible and I really recommend oil in your hair, especially if you suffer from breakage or you're looking to grow your hair. It's just so nourishing. It is quite an expensive product, but I have actually seen on Space NK, you can get the Oribe Gold Lust collection. So you can get the hair oil, the shampoo and the conditioner, which I also use. Or I think it's about £100, which is a lot of money, but also could be a great gift. You are saving a lot of money. So if you were to just buy this on its own, I think this full size is about £55. So a great saving if you get them all together. Okay, moving on to makeup. I literally do the same thing to my makeup every single day. Um, I never really change it. I use the same products. I'm such a creature of habit. And these products are honestly like my fail safe, ride or die. I have to have them and I just love them. So let's start at the beginning. So serum, I discovered this this year and it is so good. This is the Sculpted by Amy Connolly Hydra Glow Hydrating Serum. And what I love about this is it is so lightweight. It's got really good ingredients. It's got hyaluronic acid, ceramide, niacinamide. So it's brilliant for your skin. It's really light on the skin and just so hydrating. I adore this. I think this is like my third bottle now. Another thing that's really great about this is you can actually refill the bottle. So these little capsules here, you can buy separately. Oh my God, I've already used so much. I've only just bought this. <laughs> You can buy this separately and it's a few pounds cheaper and you literally just twist it on and then slot it into your bottle and it just saves packaging. Um, it's so much better and you are saving a little bit of money as well. I kind of have two different styles of doing my makeup. One is a little bit more high coverage and one is a lot less coverage. So for example, today I've gone for the less coverage one. Um, and when I do that, I've been using the Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum. I've been using this since I think it was probably March when it first launched. I worked with Rose Ink on the launch um, of their new makeup line, which was so exciting. Um, and ever since I've been hooked, I've been purchasing this over and over again. I use the shade 30 and this is so lovely. It's basically skincare in makeup, so it's got really good ingredients in it. It's not super high coverage, so I like to use this either with a little bit of concealer on top or sometimes if I just want to go makeup free but I want to look a little bit more glowy and a little bit more colour, then I will just buff this into my skin and that's it, I'm done. It's such a gorgeous product. It's got like micro encapsulated pigments in it, so it blends so well into the skin. It's really Really lightweight it literally does what it says on the tin it is a tinted serum it's a perfect hybrid of makeup and skincare and I always apply that with my rose ink number three brush I love this I've really tried to invest in my makeup brushes this year because usually I use like the cheapest ones from Primark and makeup gets so stuck in them that's what I've noticed more expensive brushes are so much easier to clean and it's important to clean your makeup brushes to stop bacteria build up and I love this one. It works so well with actually quite a lot of my products. I use this with the serum but I also sometimes use this for concealer or whatever and it's brilliant so I thought I'd recommend this. So if I am going to be wearing foundation, this is the foundation I'm going to be wearing and I am hooked on this. This is the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I've got this in the shade 6.5 and honestly this is incredible. You need the tiniest bit, so this bottle is going to last me a really long time. And it blends into your skin so seamlessly. I just love it. I think it's such a good foundation. I've actually never found a foundation that I love as much as this. I find them so thick. This is just beautiful. It goes on like butter. And I've been using the Hourglass foundation brush with this. And it's just the perfect combination. This brush is like so smooth buffs in really nicely. It really does leave you airbrushed. So if you're on the hunt for a new foundation, I really, really recommend trying this. This year I've discovered blush is a non-negotiable in my makeup routine. And as you know, Rose Ink is my favorite brand. I'm literally obsessed. And the cream blushes, this is destroyed. So I'm very sorry, this is so horrible. But 
I have used this so much and I love it. This has lasted me a really long time. I've had this since March and I use this pretty much every day and it's really lasted me a long time. You really only need a small bit, it's so pigmented. It's so creamy and buttery. And this is quite a universal pigment. So you can use this on your lips. I sometimes use it on my eyes or my cheeks. It's a really versatile product. They've also got a gorgeous color range. I've got the shade Azalea, but there's a couple others that I really wanna try. So I'm hoping in the Black Friday sales, they might have any discounts and I can pick a couple up to try. Another thing I have been absolutely converted to this year is LVL lashes. I have never really been the type of person that invests money into beauty treatments, but this year I started getting LVL and oh my goodness, my life has been transformed. My lashes are really straight and I have to curl them literally within an inch of their life for them to stay up. So having LVL is just incredible. And I really wanted to recommend this mascara because I will never use another mascara now. I've used so many mascaras in my time and this is the only one that I will use now. I just love it. It's got a really flat ended side. So it's got a flat side and then um, really fine bristles. So it's called push up lashes because you're meant to use the flat side to kind of like push your lashes up and then you use the bristle side to separate them and lengthen. And this combined with my lash lift is a dream come true. I used to sit there for hours doing my mascara. I'd be curling and coating, curling and coating. And now I literally do like one, two, three, maybe a little bit more, done. Like it's so easy, I love it. And this mascara is just incredible. I've got the super black, so it's really, really dark. And I will continue to buy this and recommend it for a very long time. And finally, the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury is an absolute must-have product. I love this so much and I shout about it all the time. I actually have a little story for you about this. So I think I was recommended this by Georgia, actually. And it smells incredible. I think I, I think I used hers. I'm sure that's how I found it. And I loved it. So I went and bought it myself. And me and Jack went to his parents' house for a Saturday night. We went over for dinner and drinks. And the night escalated. We ended up staying up till 5 a.m. Having toffee vodka and dancing and all of these things. Playing karaoke. And I did my makeup at 9 a.m. in the morning. And when I went to look in the mirror at 5 a.m., I couldn't believe that my makeup was still on everything was perfect even like my blush was still in place i couldn't believe it. i was so shocked so this really does work and i am so happy to have found a setting spray that actually works i've used so many and they are just never up to scratch so i cannot recommend this enough it's also a really really good gift or like a stocking filler for someone in your life that loves beauty and products because this is brilliant. I'd be so happy if I got this in my stocking. I actually think I'm gonna put this on my Christmas list because it's running low. One thing that I've really started doing this year is looking after my skin. The Swiss Clinic Microneedling Tool. I bought this earlier last year and I didn't really use it until this year. Oh my God, I don't know why because it's so good. If you struggle, if you are looking for an at-home treatment or something that you can do to counteract wrinkles, pigmentation, scarring, or maybe you just want your products to work harder. This is so good. It's basically a little roller ball, a bit like a jade roller, but it has tiny little needles all over the head and you roll it onto your skin in two different ways like this and it does go quite red your face but it basically works to create tiny little holes in your skin so that when you apply your product, it sinks in even deeper and works even harder. When I've been using this, I honestly notice such a difference. It's completely cleared up my scarring. I used to have a lot of scarring on my cheeks and now it's so minimal, you can barely see it. I've got a couple of tiny little bits left and I'm so happy. I really know that it's since using this because it's only been the last kind of three months that I've noticed a difference. So yeah, I really recommend this. It's also really inexpensive. I think it's about 40 pounds. Um, So it could be a really good Christmas gift as well. I love an at-home beauty tool. They're just brilliant. Okay, let's move on to homeware. As you guys know, we moved into our apartment this year. So a lot of my money has been spent on our apartment. Furnishing it, we had 
literally no furniture i think i had one desk maybe like a side table when we moved in we really built it up from scratch and it's taken us a really long time to get it finished but i have picked up quite a lot of little bits that i wanted to share with you that i've just loved so much this year so firstly i absolutely love cozy evenings at home cooking dinner i've really found a new love of cooking dinner in the evenings and just unwinding going away from my phone having a glass of wine and just really enjoying the evening and I've been on the hunt for gorgeous wine glasses for a really long time and I actually stole this idea from Nadia whenever I go to her house and we have some wine she has the most beautiful glasses so I copied her and I got them too these are from LSA I got these via Amazon and I absolutely love them they are just so lovely to drink out of they're a really long stem and the actual wine glass itself is quite long and i just really love them you know you're getting old when one of your favorite products of the year is wine glasses but i feel like they're really hard to find and i'm quite fussy i don't really want to sit and drink out of a short chunky thick wine glass i want it to feel elegant it's so lovely on the table and whenever i have guests over they always comment on the wine glasses which i really love Speaking of cooking, when we moved in, we did the classic go to Ikea, buy loads of cheap stuff so that you've got everything that you need because there's so much to buy, right? And if you get really expensive stuff, you end up spending a fortune. So our hypothesis was let's get everything we need. So we've got one of everything that's really affordable. And then as time goes on, we can build up our collection and start adding to it maybe more expensive things or things that are gonna last a bit longer. So I picked up this casserole dish from m and Home and I am obsessed with this. I actually get so excited to cook because I get to use this. It is such a good size. It's so easy to clean. It looks beautiful. It's really heavy. It's got like an aluminium inside. So it's really easy to clean. It's brilliant for cooking. I use this to cook everything from pastas, risottos, stir fries. I fry meat in here. I literally make everything. So I love this. I think it's brilliant. And I am just obsessed with it. Candles are my absolute favorite thing in the world. I love lighting a candle and it just scenting the whole apartment. I just love them. And I found these two this year. Firstly, the White Company Two Rose and Cashmere Candle. These are such a great price. They are so beautiful and they smell incredible. Nadia actually bought us the larger one of these in the fur scent. And oh my God, it's beautiful. It smells just like Christmas. I love it so much. And this is lovely. It's a really kind of comforting, fresh, almost like a linen-y scent. It's quite perfumed. I love it. It's so beautiful. I sometimes have this in the office or I move it into the living room and I love it. It's a really gorgeous smell. And then a candle that I've also been loving is from Neon. This is the perfect night sleep candle. When we get in bed early and we watch TV, I love to light this because it just makes the room smell incredible. It's basically like a pillow mist, you know, like a sleep spray. It's kind of like that, but in a candle, and it, it literally makes the room smell gorgeous. If we've had like a really long week or a really long day and we're both really tired, I love lighting this and then cooking dinner. And then when we go and get in bed, it just smells so nice and we fall asleep so quickly. I also think Neom is such a beautiful brand. I love the ethos behind it, all the products, the ranges. I think it's such a beautiful brand to gift someone at Christmas a little slice of calm. Another home item that I absolutely love is my Amazon indoor fire pit. And I have put this on my stories quite a few times recently and all of you guys are obsessed with it and I can see why because it's so gorgeous. It's so easy to use. You, you literally just pour bioethanol into the little hole in the middle and light it and that is it. And you've got a real flame. It is a real flame. Um, and it is actually really warm. We've used this to toast marshmallows. We put this outside in the summer in our old house and it is just so lovely. It really makes such a difference. Jack's mum actually has one of these as well and we always, always have it lit when we sit outside. It's just beautiful. It's so cozy and it's really inexpensive. If you don't have a fire and you love them, I really recommend getting this. It's also a really good Christmas present. Everyone loves like a little gadget that they can unbox and play around with in the day and this is literally one of them. It's so good. As you guys know, we moved into our apartment this year. So we have been buying a lot of furniture and I just wanted to recommend a few things that I just absolutely love. Firstly is our Emma mattress. Oh my God, everyone I know that has an Emma mattress loves it. 
and I can really see why. I didn't realise how bad my mattress was that I've slept on since I was probably about 10. It was like a spring old mattress and since we moved here and got the new one, my sleep has completely transformed and if you're on the hunt for a new mattress or you're moving and you want to up upgrade it please have a look at emma mattresses because they are so good i knew i wanted an emma mattress because jack's family all have emma mattresses i have the best night's sleep at the, their family house they honestly they're incredible secondly i wanted to recommend MS home as a brand i cannot believe how underrated MS home is i have worked with them a lot this year and i will continue to purchase things from them forever i've actually been just looking on the website for christmas bits from there they have just got everything and i think what it is you think MS is quite a frumpy kind of like mum brand but it really isn't they've really stepped up their game i've been looking at the clothing in there i've been looking at the homeware they've got beautiful beautiful pieces and they're really kind of on trend they're quite minimal really chic really classic so i really wanted to recommend MS home as a brand i've got so many pieces from there that we use all the time and the thing that i actually wanted to show you from there is this cushion because i love it i really wanted to inject some more warmer tones into the apartment this autumn winter so i painted our canvas up here and i picked up these cushions and i love them they are such a good price they are absolutely huge these actually come in multiple colors this cushion is 39 pound 50 and it comes as the cushion which is so good because i absolutely hate it when you think you're buying a cushion and you're actually buying a cushion cover and you've spent like 45 pounds on a cushion cover and then you have to go and buy the inside as well so that is brilliant and i really really recommend these they also have these in white which i really want to get for our bed okay my next homeware piece i don't want this video to be too long and i've still got so many things to go through so i'm gonna rush through um this is a very random one but it is the dyson hoover honestly i cannot live without this now I have turned into an absolute cleaning freak since we moved here. I cannot function unless our apartment looks like a show home. I was always pretty tidy, but my room could be a mess with clothes and I could still work and it was fine. But now I honestly can't. I can't function in our apartment if it's a mess. I don't know why, <laughs> but this Hoover has been an absolute game changer. Hoovering was my worst, worst job i absolutely hated it at home and for some reason my mum would always give the hoovering to me i don't know why because it was my worst thing but now i actually get excited to hoover and i when my mum moved house i took my dyson round to her house and i hoovered it for her because it's just so good if you are looking to invest in a hoover or you're looking to get someone a gift i don't know it's a bit of a weird gift but maybe someone wants it i cannot recommend it enough we've got the dyson sv12 and it comes with loads of different heads as well. So you can take off the long, um, what do you call this? The long stick? I don't know. You take off this long bit and you can have it as like a handheld one, which is so good if you want to hoover the car or like stairs. I hoover all of our cupboards with it. Um, and it comes with loads of different heads as well. So you can get like little ones, big ones. It's brilliant. I love it. Only thing I would say is if you have a really big house, you're not going to be able to hoover your whole house with one charge. It, it does take a while. I can hoover the whole apartment, hoover the sofas, the cupboards, every, every inch of the apartment, I can hoover it with one charge. But it's a small apartment. If we were to live in a big house, I wouldn't be able to. Another little random miscellaneous thing that I wanted to mention. This is kind of for all of my content creator girls out there. This time of year, the weather is so bad. I don't know if you can tell, but it's so dark in here. This video is probably gonna be looking at the worst lighting ever. But this light has completely saved me. I used this at the weekend actually at my event. I took this with me and none of my friends are influencers or creators or anything. And they were dying at me getting this out. But the next day when they looked at all their pictures, they were so happy because it was brilliant lighting. <laughs> I got this from Amazon. It clips onto like anything. I clip this onto my mirror when I'm getting ready, if it's in the morning and it's dark, on your camera, phone, whatever. And I won't shine it at you because it's really bright, but I'll show you how it looks on my face. So you've got two different settings. You can have it on the lower light or you can have it on the brightest one. And you can also change the color. So you can have it like really, really warm, you can have it quite white or you can have kind of like a mix color but the lighting is so good it literally makes your skin flawless um it's like a ring light but it's more of a um rectangle so it's more like an actual big light and 
I love it. I think it's brilliant. So if any of you are struggling and on the hunt, I really recommend getting that. Also quite a good little stocking filler. If any of your friends or family love taking pictures, this could be a really good one. Really inexpensive, really easy to just chuck in a stocking. I think that's really good. Okay, before I bore you all with my talking, let's move on to a little bit of fashion. Firstly, I wanna talk about some pajamas. You guys know I am literally the cozy queen. I love nothing more than a Saturday night in. It's my favorite thing in the world. And a couple of pieces that I have loved this year. Firstly, the White Company Cashmere Socks. They're always a favorite of mine. If I do this video next year, I probably will still include them because I just love them. And I actually love this new color that they brought out. I think they brought this out a year ago now. But it's like an oatmeal-y beige and it's just gorgeous. So these are such a must have for me. And also a really good gift. I always get these for the women in our family. They're so lovely. It's something that someone's not gonna buy themselves. A pair of cashmere bed socks is not really an essential, but a really lovely gift. I have followed the Napco ever since the beginning. I've worked with Siobhan really closely on campaigns. I used to shoot campaigns with her. And I have just watched the brand go from strength to strength. They are so incredible, so inspiring, and they are just doing amazing things. So I had to mention some new sleepwear. I have got the beige and cream striped satin robe. This is a full length robe. It's long sleeve, it's absolutely stunning. And I wear this when I'm getting ready in the morning. So once I've had my shower, I put this robe on, do all my hair, do all my makeup, sometimes eat my breakfast in this, and then get dressed. And I love it, it's so beautiful. It's buttery soft on the skin. It's such a classic, beautiful design and I just adore it. I think it's beautiful and again, a really lovely gift. I have this in the size small medium and yeah, I just had to include this. Okay, moving on to the pajama set. I honestly couldn't live without pajamas and the cozier, the softer, the better. So I have picked up the Jersey Cream pajama set from the Napco. I have this in a size small. And I've got the long sleeve shirt, which is literally the softest thing in the world. I wish it wasn't lunchtime so I could just put this on now. I love it. I actually get so excited to have a nice bubble bath. I put my pyjamas on the radiator so they get nice and warm and put them on. And oh, it is just the best feeling in the world. I feel like a little baby. I just love it. So there is the shirt. And then I also have the trousers. And the trousers have actually had a new design. So the waistband is a lot thinner. The drawstring is a lot thinner as well. So it's a little bit more comfy, a little bit more understated. Super long flared trousers. And all the detailing is just beautiful. The piping on the hem is so lovely. The piping around the lapels as well. It's just everything is so lovely. They have such a wide range of stock and the quality is just incredible. So I really, really recommend these, especially if you're looking to get a gift because they come so beautifully packaged and it's just such a lovely thing to open at Christmas. Okay, so I haven't really bought that many clothing pieces this year. I've been really trying to whittle down my shopping habits and be a lot more conscious with what I'm spending my money on. And conscientious shopping is something that I've really been trying to do this year. So I have been saving my money for one-off pieces that are gonna be hero pieces in my wardrobe that I'm gonna love, that are gonna last forever. And just really kind of avoiding the fast fashion, trend-led, one-in-one-out kind of vibe. I just wanted to invest my money in pieces that are gonna last me a really long time and are just timeless. So, I've got a couple of pairs of shoes to show you. Firstly, my Chloe Lauren trainers. Obviously, they are my name, so I'm not gonna love them. But these have been an amazing purchase for me this year. I first saw these on Nadia. As always, I literally see everything on her and I'm like, yep, yeah, okay, I'm getting it. But these are so lovely. I was really lacking a pair of cream shoes that were quite feminine, not super sporty. And I wasn't sure if I wanted a trainer until I saw these. They are beautiful. They are lace. They've got the little tab on the back. They are super dirty and really need cleaning because I wear these all the time but I just love them. They are so gorgeous. They're quite summery with the lace and the white and the cream. To me, I don't see them as a seasonal shoe. I see them as something I could wear all year round. Obviously not if it was raining, but I could wear these in winter with like an all white winter look, autumn. I, I just would wear these all the time. I love them, they're beautiful. Next, I had to mention these, even though they are sold out everywhere, my ultra mini Uggs in the shade Antelope. I also keep getting a lot of questions saying, are you sure they're Antelope? And I promise you they are. I had a look at my receipt and they are 1000% Antelope. 
I love these. I've always had Uggs, but I've always had like the longer Uggs that are kind of the ones that everyone used to hate that were always in like Heat magazine. Um, I actually still have a black pair that I wear in like the winter, but I wanted a pair of shoes that I could wear. Running errands, I, I just wear them with jeans, I wear them with leggings, I wear them all the time, I love them. They are so soft and cozy, and I know some people don't like Uggs, but I just think they are a must have, they are so gorgeous. And last but not least, the final thing that I have purchased this year that I have to mention is a really big one for me. I, as I just said to you, I've been saving up my money for one-off pieces that I love that I've thought about for a really long time and this was on my wish list from probably two years ago now and that is my totem scarf jacket I couldn't not mention this because this is just beautiful if I was going to be a jacket this is literally the jacket that I would be the detailing around the edge the embroidery the built-in scarf the oversized like boxiness of it the tassels just everything the color I love it so much and I literally get so excited to wear this it's beautiful I've never owned anything from Totem and it's a really expensive brand this was not a cheap jacket so I really thought about it for a good few years and I saved up and decided to treat myself and I'm so glad that I did it's so beautiful I have it in the size 34 which is perfect, it's nice and oversized, I can fit a big jumper under it, and I just love it so much, so I thought we would end on a high. Okay, so that brings me to the end of today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed this little look at my favourite purchases of the year. I will leave everything linked down below, as I always do. I was actually thinking I'd really love to do a video where I perhaps have a real, like, in-depth overview of the year, recap, Maybe we could discuss goals and create a vision board together. I wonder if that's something that you would be interested in watching because I think it would be really lovely to just have a heart to heart. Maybe you could ask me some questions. I could go through the year, see if I've ticked off things from my vision board and start planning for the one next year and just have like an end of year catch up a big roundup of the year i think it'll be really lovely so let me know if that's something that you would like to see let me know in the comments or let me know on instagram i would love to know vlogmas is starting soon so lots more videos to come and i always appreciate your support with my youtube i'm so happy on this platform and i just love it so yeah so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye